Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch was fucking... My mom showed me that in our house in Maine, right? And she told me my sister was real, and I was like 12. My sister was like 6. And we watched that entire thing. We thought it was real. And uh, we're in a house in the middle of the woods in Maine, town of 1200. And uh, I probably sweated and didn't sleep at all all night. And I went, we slept with my mom all night, never again. Dude, you know what, um, <laughs> you know what, um, fucking movie was weird I watched with my mom was, you ever see Clockwork Orange? Yeah, but that was Dude, a very strange I movie. I watched that when I was like 9 or 10 with my mom. That's psychologically weird. It's sexually aggressive. Yeah, it is very. It's it, a very dude, British it was, movie. It was pretty bad, dude. Uh, it was. It's not like. I mean, it's, it's something. It's weird to watch when you're nine with your fucking parents. I think the first time I saw that when I, I was in high school, I think my buddy showed me it, and we watched probably like twenty minutes of it, and I think it was so awful. I like it. It's a good movie. Stanley Kubrick, great director. Uh, I actually tried reading the book, and it was so hard to read because it's written by a British author, and he writes in a slang that's a made-up British slang. I read the book in eighth grade. With our, we were forced to. So did I, you I, clock her really? Yeah, we read the book. Yeah, yeah that, we didn't have but to. But she read wasn't it, allowed but... to show us in the like, movie. And yeah, how school. could you watch that? They fucking. Yeah, I well, I wasn't aware of it. You know, I just, yeah. I, just I thought it was a book. I thought it was normal. They had us read it, so why wouldn't we be able to watch it? You know. Yeah, that's a weird fucking to read. Yeah, eighth grade, Miss uh, Miss Caples. I don't know if I'm gonna call you know her out. <laughs> great, remember Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Um. Yeah. Is that with Hunter um, S. Thompson and Johnny Depp? Does the of the movie. Yeah, John. He's in Vegas and he's just loading up on drugs. And yeah, and Tom Sizemore is a detective and he, he he's, he's always after him. One. No. no. That's one where he goes down to Vegas. It's like a gonzo journalism where he goes down to Vegas to cover some like NASCAR race or something and he just eats a shitload of drugs and he's just like tripping out the whole time he's in Vegas. Wow. It's the one where the famous like he's got the, the, the hat, the bucket hat. The Hawaiian shirt, the cigarette, and the glasses. I thought I was talking about the same one. Oh, dude, the the movie's phenomenal. Does he have a shootout with the cops? No. Okay, maybe I'm thinking. No, of Fear and Loathing is, is more of a, like a drug kind of movie. Okay, because the one I'm talking about, these people are tripping on like acid or shrooms the entire movie, go driving to Vegas, but they have a shootout at the end. They have like, but uh, it must maybe. be it must no, be a that. different movie. And the, is it Not a convertible? Even, yeah, but I don't, I don't think it, it's a shootout. Is it two dudes or? Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's the same movie though. I'm pretty sure we're talking about the same movie. I mean, then again, you said Brendan Lee died in uh, the second Crow. Cause, Are you sure? We're, cause, yeah, no. Cause they the thing stop is that, at like, that a grocery book store? Written, yeah, that's not it. Because that book was written by Hunter S. Thompson, and it's an exaggerated truth. So he actually went on that trip, and this guy's like gonzo journalism. It's like he did the experience and just greatly exaggerated the experience. Maybe they added that in the movie. I have to recheck it. It's been a while since I've seen it, but it's a great movie and even better book, actually. 